Hello, I'm Janie News. I'm going to show you how to use the glass filter in Photoshop to create a glass style frame outside your photograph. Here is how the finished frame will look, giving the impression that you have a frame made of glass. This is the photograph I want to add a frame to. I need to work on the background and to unlock it I double click on the word background layer 0 comes up automatically and I click OK. Now I'll use a stroke under effect. The layer style box appears, you've ticked stroke and you have several options to make changes. Position inside by default it's color black and I'll increase the size until it looks the way I want it. I might make quite a large frame for this. Click OK. Next, select the rectangular marquee tool, feather zero and make sure it's on the new selection. Click top left of the photograph to bottom right selecting inside the frame, let go, select inverse and this is going to be your frame. You can drag the effect to the bin because now you're going to control J or command J to put the frame on a new layer. I'm going to use effects again, bevel and emboss. I think I'd like pillow emboss for this and I can change the size and I can change the depth. Click OK and there you have a frame. I want to fill it with glass so I control click or command click to activate the selection then go to filter, filter gallery. Under Distort I'm going to choose Glass. The texture has several choices. I'm going to choose Tiny Lens. Distortion 20, Scaling 200%, click OK. Control D or Command D and you have an interesting frame but you've lost a lot of your photograph. So what I'm going to do is Control J, Command J to duplicate the photograph. Edit, transform, scale to fit it inside the glass frame using the corner handles. When you're satisfied, let go. Obviously, if you've got plenty of room around your photograph, you don't need to do this final step. But if you've got interesting elements quite near the edge of the frame, this is the answer. So if you're happy with the way it looks, flatten and save.